Hey and welcome everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make moving images using Swift and ARKit. This is actually a very simple project that looks cool and doesn't require much code. Um, basically how the project works is so we're going to create an app that uh, is image tracking or is looking for an image and once it finds this image it's going to play a video over it. The image would just be a screenshot or thumbnail of that video so it gives it that moving image effect. So let's get started. To start, we're going to create a new augmented reality app in Xcode. This template will already have a lot of the code we need in this project. Uh, I'm going to name my project moving underscore image. And okay, we have a project. These folders, image test and image UI test, uh, we're not really going to use them in this project. So I'm going to just go ahead and remove them. And you can do the same or keep them. It doesn't really matter. Next, let's add a new .scn file to the art folder and call this file image scene. Uh, we will use this as our scene, which will play the video over that image. We're looking for it. As you can see, this image in the back is what I'm going to be using, and it's just a screenshot I took from this uh, .mov video that I recorded. I can play it real quick. This is the video that I'm going to be using. It's a stream. And then, uh, yeah, just take a screenshot, like I said. And next, we're just going to add the video to the project. So we can just drag and drop it into our project folder. Um, make sure that the add to target is selected for our project and click finish. Uh, I am using a .mov file, but you can also use an MP4 and it'll work fine. Next, let's add our image um, into the assets folder. But before we do that, we need to create an AR resource group. I'm going to call mine images, and now we can just drag and drop the image right into the resource group. Right away, you might see a warning sign come up. The reason we see this warning sign is because we haven't added any size properties to our image. Um, so that we have to add a width and a height. As you can see, I'm using meters, and adding this will fix the issue. So now we can start on the coding part of this project. So we'll go to our view controller. And like I mentioned in the beginning, a lot of the code and the imports that we need are already here because we selected the AR template for this project, so we won't need to add much. Um, so these functions here at the bottom, we're not gonna use them in this project, and we can just remove them. And then this fun other function that's commented out, we'll, we will be using it, so we can uncomment it. To start, um, I will add an object called player here, I'll add it here. Um, and this will just be an AV player that we'll use to play our video. I'll say player, AV player. Okay. Next, we'll need to make a change in a view did load um, function. Since we're not using this ship.scn file, uh, but instead we need to replace it with the image scene file we created. Um, so that once the, the view loads, we'll use our file as the scene. And I went ahead and just removed the ship file. That's why you don't see it here. But yeah, we'll just add our image scene. Now we should be good. Now inside our view will appear function, we'll set up our AR configuration. First, we need to change this AR world tracking configuration to the AR image tracking configuration um, so that it knows that we're looking for an image. And below this, we'll create an image object using guard let. So um, this image object is a, what we'll use to grab the image images we added to our resource group. Okay, our reference image, our reference image, and group, and make sure to set it to whatever you called your resource group. I called my images, and then the bundle will just say bundle dot bundle. 
by name. And we'll add this else statement to print no image found. If it's unable to retrieve our image, and then we'll just return. So now we'll need to add this image object to our configuration. And to do that, we can say configuration dot tracking images. And we set that to our image. Um, and this so that it knows that what image, uh, so that it knows what image we're looking for. And then finally, the last function that we'll add code to is this render function that I uncommented. Um, this function is triggered once our image is found. Um, here we're going to create an image anchor object in an if let to cast the functions anchor parameter as an AR image. Anchor as AR image anchor. Inside we'll create a video URL variable that will have the path to our video. So we'll say let video URL equals URL uh, path and this is just the name of our video. Image thirteen thirteen, and then the type, the MOV, and if you had a, if you were using an MP four file, this is where you would add the type of, of file that it is. Yeah, and then uh, with this path, we can initialize our player, so we can say player equals a v player, and we can. Started with a URL and we'll pass our video URL. Uh, so now we need to create a plain object um, that will go over our image and play the video. We'll call this video plane and use the properties from the image anchor object to set the height and width of our plane, which which will be the dimensions of our physical image. We'll say let video plane. plane and with we can use that anchor image so image anchor dot physical dot reference image dot physical size dot width and just copy this Um, so now we need to add our video player to this plane by accessing the first by accessing the first material diffuse dot content and setting us to our player. And then to display our plane, we'll need to add, we need a, a node. So we'll create an SC node object called a video node. Yeah. Um, which will be initialized by passing our video plane in the geometry parameter. We can say this and we'll pass in our video plane. And this is actually supposed to go up here. And now we'll need to rotate our node to match the anchor rotation. And for that, we'll set this video node's x uh, Euler angle. Video node 
dot Euler angles dot x, and we'll set it to negative pi divided by 2. And then we'll just need to add our video node as a child node to this node object that's being returned in the function. So we'll say node dot add child node, we can add our video node, and finally just a player dot play our video, and we're done. Pretty cool and simple project. Um, you are gonna need an actual device to run it on, and uh, once you run it, as you can see, it does a pretty good job of tracking that image uh, and playing the video. Yeah, for this project, the video just plays, and it stops, and you gotta close the app, open it again, but yeah, maybe next time I'll add some functionality where, where the video plays in the loop or something like that. But yeah, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And yeah, until next time.